Hello, welcome to another Dev Diary. Um, today we're going to take a look at the Sprite Artist again because I've added a lot of new features. Um, so first this is the project page where you can see all your different sprites. Um, so this is new. Uh, so if we double click on something, this should look familiar. This is the drawing page where you can uh, draw on the sprites, all the different cells and the layers within the sprite. Um, but up here, this is new. Uh, this rigging and animation is what I've added recently. Um, and so what the rigging and animation lets you do is uh, define stuff like the like for the sprite itself you can define the visual center, the visual width, the pathing uh, position and the pathing width which is this green box here. Um, you can define the collision circle for the character, change its size and its offset and that kind of thing. Um, you can also change the offsets of and actual collision circles for each of the individual uh, cells within the sprite. So we could adjust his staff like that. Um, you can even change its, its default direction. Um, but this is the coolest part right here, animation. You can actually configure everything uh, from right inside the UI on the Sprite Artist now. And then you just click to test out the animation. So this makes actually debugging the animation system a whole lot easier. Um, and of course it makes uh, creating new animations really easy. Um, let's see. So most of this is just uh, defining particular keyframes um, and then the keyframes will have different offsets or uh, they'll have different you know facing directions or scale um, but you can also specify alternate textures as well um, the, but the big the big advantage of this animation system is you don't have to hand draw each frame in the animation um, so there's very little artwork that actually goes into these uh, sprites um, so something else I did is made it so that you can add visitor cells to this sprite. Just so uh, the purpose here is so you can uh, look at you know clothing or equipment on your character um, to see how it would look in game uh, without having you know a million different cells associated with you know the the main character sprite. So I'm going to go into inventory item and uh, pick wizard hat. And now you can see his hat is right there. And let's move it down in the draw order so the staff shows up on top. And let's turn off his hair. So now if we come in here and we do the jump animation, you see the hat doesn't actually follow him. But we can fix that by linking the hat to a specific cell. So here we're linking the hat to the head. And now when we jump, you see the hat follows. Um, and this is actually the same code that is going to be used in-game uh, to attach equipment to the characters. So um, if there's any bug in-game, I should be able to reproduce it directly in the Sprite Artist because they use the exact same code base. Um, okay, so now uh, I want to demonstrate how just going through the process of animating uh, one of these characters and I'm going to fast forward a lot so you don't so it'll go a lot quicker for you than it does for me so it doesn't look great but <laughs> you get the idea that um, there's arms are supposed to be swinging when he's walking. Um, in here you can set the play animation groups and that'll make all the animations with uh, the same prefix play at the same time. So that's why both arms are swinging.
Alright, so we got a little attack animation. And none of these are very polished, but, you know, this is about, you know, five or five or ten minutes worth of work. Um, so, you know, spend a good 30 minutes and you can get a uh, much nicer, more polished animation. But uh, ho hopefully this shows how uh, quickly you can create new characters. Um, and all this expor exports XML metadata that's loaded directly by the game. Um, so in the future, you know, if the game has a you know, uh, modding community or something, they'll be able to use this tool to, uh, to quickly create new characters. Alright, uh, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching.